Okay, so now we're going to have a quick look at some of the field service tasks which are required uh, to keep the UAQS1 running uh, in optimum condition. Uh, the two most important uh, and regular field servicing tasks are keeping the filters changed and making sure that the flow rates are correct. Uh, the filters uh, for the gas inlet are the same as the gas inlet filters for the AQ, AQM65 and the PM inlet filters are exactly the same as for the uh, nephilometer uh, in the dust sentry or the AQM or the profiler in the AQM or, or the dust profiler. So these can be ordered from Aeroqua, I'll put the part numbers on the screen. Uh, it's exactly the same part numbers uh, as you would order for your AQM. Aeroqual recommends uh, the use of a high quality flow meter uh, to measure the gas inlet flow and also to measure the uh, PM inlet flow as well. Uh, the R7 uh, is recommended and is capable of measuring the inlet flow for the nephilometer. It's also capable of measuring the inlet flow for the profiler and also capable of measuring the individual gas module flows as well as the main gas inlet. Another tool which is really important is uh, vacuum gauge. Uh, the vacuum gauge is used to make sure that uh, the PM inlet system is leak tight. Uh, if it's not leak tight we, we develop leaks and then we get an in incorrect PM measurement. None of these tools are unique to the AQS1, so if you have a dust sentry already or if you have an AQM65 uh, you'll be familiar with these uh, consumables and with these tools and you should already have them. The gas modules inside the AQS1 uh, are calibrated in a very similar way to the gas modules inside the AQM65. So if you've already had some experience with calibration with our AQM, you'll be very familiar with the process and the tools used to calibrate the AQS1. Uh, to calibrate the ozone module, if you have one in your AQS1, we use the 2B Tech ozone calibration source. This is Aerocore part number uh, 03 Cal. We also have the AirCal 1000 for delivering uh, a controlled diluted uh, gas of NO2 or isobutene. And of course you would purchase your calibration gas uh, in exactly the same way for the AQS1 as you would for the AQM65. So in summary the uh, consumables for the AQS1 are very similar to the consumables for the dust entry in the AQM, it's mainly filters. Uh, the regular service tasks are again very similar to the AQS uh, as it is for the AQM. We have the flow checks and the vacuum checks and the calibration tool set uh, for the AQS1 is exactly the same as the calibration tool set for the AQM65.